What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be putting more work into the hatch. We're just going to be cleaning up the engine bay a lot more and all the stuff that subscribers sent me. So one is the cooling reservoir and two is of course this little plug. But I don't know if I can make it work. Um, let's probably have to cut this. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And if you guys have not checked out the site, check out the site. I have stickers listed for sale, the new stickers. And they will all be shipped out very soon to everybody that ordered one. So thank you very much for the support and thank you very much for 24K. We are going to be using this cooling reservoir that Paul Kelly sent to us. So thank you very much, Paul. I'm going to be putting it right here. But before I do that, I'm going to be probably cutting around this grommet and then just put it in there like that. I don't think I can squeeze everything through this little hole so I'm gonna have to trim this of course see what I can fit through here and make it look more tidy instead of not being all open like that and I still need to get rid of the AC um, whatever the AC unit back behind the firewall so I could use the AC plug that he also sent me so I probably will do that and eventually have to put this in now this has been sitting in this toolbox for I think a couple months now this airbag delete tray so I gotta put that on. I'm gonna get to probably putting this on first. So I uh, probably gotta unplug the ECU and do all that stuff. What I'm doing right now is I am actually unplugging my ECU so I could bring this back into the firewall and then put the plug in or that little grommet and slide everything in. I feel like this one's gonna be the issue because it's a lot bigger and maybe this one also. So what I had to do was actually on the grommet itself. I cut out the center so it's not perfect and yeah, gotta do a little more cleaning on it. it doesn't go right in and it'll, the harness will slide right in. It'll look a lot nicer too than before. We'll have a gaping hole and I have to unplug the, was it the fuse to the battery wire, my wide band and uh, let's see what's this, my starter wire also. Well, I'll probably take it from there and tuck it in. And also got to take off the ground and of course the harness and plug it, pull it all the way through like that. And then uh, yeah, route it through. The harness I'm using is a raw wire budget harness. Not gonna lie, a engine harness or like a tucked engine harness or whatever, it creates a lot more like space in your engine bay. Like if you look at it, you don't really see it because the wires that they use are really, really thin. So it just makes it look more tidy like Right here for my VTEC pressure and all that. So I'll pull this all through and ride it through again. What you can do is also, when you're uh, using zip ties, I really, I highly recommend using small zip ties because they're really small and they just look a lot more cleaner than using the giant big ones, which is like these ones. So I recommend using the small ones. They just look more nice and tidy. This little tuck tip or, or something like that. And I'm gonna take out this bracket too. I don't need this bracket anymore. That's for the brake line, but don't even need it. Getting rid of more and more off the firewall. All right, the issue I'm currently having is the giant plugs will not fit through, especially this one right here and this one. So what I have to do is probably remove this rubber grommet off of the black thing. So, Slide it through and then probably put the grommet back on while all the other wires are in there. Well, the, well mainly the two big ones. What I ended up doing was just, I cut the whole uh, rubber piece in half. Well, just right there. So I just bring it around the bracket, made it a lot easier. And now to bring these back into the firewall and all this other stuff. And just plug it right up. Alright, so everything is in there. Just have to put the ground cable back in and also the fuse box wire for the power. There we go, and just gotta zip tie it all, and then put the cooler reservoir right there. It's not the cleanest, but it's better than what it looked like before with the open hole. And you don't really see it, and time to relocate this, but I just have to uh, put everything back into the ECU and all that stuff underneath there. And we can start by fixing this and getting it mounted. Everything's all put back, and I decided to use that one clamp again, and just gotta zip tie all those, and we should be good. Also inside, it's all cleaned up. Like that. Now to zip tie it up, and we can start by relocating or getting rid of this now, 
and that bracket that holds it. I am back home. I didn't really say that I left, but I just did that. I have not put this in yet. She went to go get some coffee because it is extremely hot today. And nothing better than coffee. And check the mail. Thank you very much. This is from Severe Sky. If you guys don't know who Severe Sky is, check him out. He has an Instagram. He sells a lot of stickers. I will link all his stuff down below. And he's the one that sends a lot of stickers out to like Eliminate and a lot of other people. This isn't the first time. This is actually probably like the fourth time I think he sent me stickers. You should ask you, brother. All right. Guys, what's up? Okay, so, oh my god, she got his like baby corgi stickers. Oh, this is new. You can actually peel it off and like, oh, nice. You got the wave. Which you guys know what this is. Hopefully you guys know this is like on a lot of Japanese things. Oh, got the big ass wave. Oh, it's one whole sticker. I thought you could take it off. Hoge King, that is sick. And another dog. So give him a follow on Instagram. He always has the sickest stickers. And they're really, really good quality. So check him out. IG is Severe Sky. Okay, let me see. Oh, this is for the C-West. I forgot to show you guys. This came with the C-West bumper, the stickers, and uh, mounting brackets. Uh, oh, yeah, he sent me this, too. So, oh, they're different colors. Okay. Oh, my God, I have too many stickers. But I have an air freshener in here that I want to put on my car. It's actually from him, also. Oh, my God, I have to fucking find it. I have way too many stickers. Okay, I found it. This is what he sent me. This is from Severe Sky also. I don't think it has his name on it, but this is from Severe Sky. I'm actually going to put this in my car right now. Mmm, it has a nice scent to it too. There we go. Hopefully no one says anything. Thanks, Severe Sky. Okay, so I just got the phone. A very long phone call. I will explain about that later. Let's put this in. I'm going to take these off real quick. Bend the bracket a little bit more and then probably wire wheel off all the paint. And then we're just going to mount it. It's very simple. Uh, I don't think I really need to show you guys. But my plan is to have it right here. Somewhere right here. Huh. It's probably like right there. Got the bracket as straight as possible. It's still not straight, but it will mount up perfectly fine. And now I'm just gonna paint this bracket real quick, and then we can just, uh, oh, actually drill the holes first, then paint it, and then put it all back in there, and route the new coolant hose to that. I painted the bracket, I just wanna show you guys more of this. It looks so much cleaner, with some dirt. And I need to take this bracket off right now, because I don't really need it. I'm just take up the line. Now I'm just gonna put this in, and uh, yeah, show you guys. Just gonna drill one hole in, probably use only one, uh, one screw and it should be good to hold coolant. And there we go. The reservoir is not here anymore. I still have to take off the bracket, but check that out. It's, damn. Just need a new set of mounts, which should be coming soon, and probably a new header, but uh, we'll see what happens. But at least it's over here now. Hides the cables a little bit too. And just right out of that hose. I didn't trim it. I feel like I should trim it. But I was leave for now. And that white bracket's gone back there now. It's sometimes, sometimes just the little things make a huge difference inside your car or wherever or whatever you're doing to your car. Even like polishing your own headlights make a huge difference. And yeah. And these headlights, I do have another set right here. I did polish these ones a lot more. And wow, they came out so nice and smooth. I haven't done this one yet, but that top one is the one that I did already. And I want to answer some questions that I keep getting like a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about my motor setup. The motor is a B18C5, the motor is built which is one reason why I actually got ITVs for it. Well, oh, I didn't even explain. But the main question I get is, where can I buy ITVs, or is it worth going with ITVs? It's only worth going ITVs if your motor is actually built. If your motor is not built, and you put ITVs on a stock motor, you will not gain any power. You actually lose power, but you will have better throttle response, but you lose power in the end. It has 12 to 5 to 1 wide scope forged pistons, and the head is built also has buddy close spec 3 cams. It has super tech valve train and everything like that. For ITVs, you only gain power from cams and high compression. So if your motor is stock, like for example, let's just say like V16A, 
you will not gain any power out of the ITBs, you will lose power. So it's only worth going to ITBs if your motor is built in high compression because that's where ITBs benefit off of. That is actually one reason why I have ITBs. Like I even told myself that I have one ITBs before I did a B-swap or anything like that. And luckily this motor is high compression, it has cams and everything, so it supports the ITBs. And I still have to go back for a retune for this. When I got the car retuned, it was making 197 to the wheels, but the TPS wasn't reading right. The throttle cable wasn't pulling the butterflies open all the way. So it was tuned at 76% throttle right now at 197. And in order for me to floor it, because right now I can't floor it. If I floor it, the TPS will kick in and it'll cut out or bog out. So when I go back to get a retune, the car will definitely make more than 210. I need to change my exhaust setup too, because I'm running two and a half, two and a quarter. So it's like bottlenecking. So I need to run full two and a half. Well, the throttle kill is already fixed. It opens up 100%. If you guys haven't seen that video, I already fixed it. And luckily I have on data, so I was able to check everything or I was able to check the TPS when I was in my car and yeah, it was pretty much like live feed or whatever. It is worth it for ITVs, honestly. I love the response. The throttle response is nice and I have longer stacks because of I wanted mid-range. It's only worth it if your motor is built. Don't do it if your motor stock, you will lose it unless you just want to make your motor look nice for show, that's it. I mean, you guys, you guys could get ITVs. I am running TWM, which is also known as Borla Induction now. TWM sold the company to Borla or Borla bought it out. So it's owned by Borla now, but I bought these used for 950 bucks on eBay. And they're already fully like refurbished, remanned or whatever and uh, resynced. So luckily I was able to score that for 950 because they go for roughly, I think $2,000 new if you check the site. And it comes with a fuel rail, a fuel pressure regulator, and I think that's it. It doesn't come with injectors or anything. It comes with the original stacks, but I did change them to VW stacks. They're a lot taller. But um, yeah, that's my ITB setup, and um, I don't know if, it's, if that made any sense, but that's up to you guys if you actually do want to do ITBs. I only did ITBs because I told myself that I wanted ITBs and that's what I set my goal to getting. That's what I got now. So don't let others just keep building. Check out those stickers. Thanks for always for supporting guys and stay tuned. I think the next video you guys will be very, very excited about. Um, we're actually going to get started on the case spot.